Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys uh, this picture gallery in flash is a fade in fade out picture gallery and uh, uses three pictures guys. In fact before I actually start explaining the action script to you let me show you a published preview by hitting control enter on my keyboard to test the movie. So here goes control enter. That's the first picture fading in. This is the second one. Here comes the third one and we'll loop back to the very first one. We do the second one the third and uh, we'll go back to the very first one all right now let's examine the assets guys uh, out here on the stage the size of which is 550 by 400 we have three pictures in the strict sense they're actually movie clips i'll not show you how to import pictures how to convert them to movie clips because i'm safely assuming that you know at least that much okay now guys have a look out here we have three movie clips out here stacked on top of each other the one at the bottom has an instance name of mc3 the one in the middle this one has an instance name of mc2 and the one at the top has an instance name of mc1 let me reset it back the way it was all right so in a nutshell we have three pictures which are basically strictly uh, movie clips and they are stacked on top of each other it's a pile it's a stack guys right so uh, the size of the pictures or the movie clips is 550 by 400 which is also the size of the stage all right let's see what else we have on the timeline we have an as3 layer we, where we have the action script and we have uh, we have yet another layer the pictures there we have uh, where we have all the three pictures right let me open up the actions uh, panel guys and explain the action script to you quickly okay we roughly have around 45 lines of action script 3 right now guys <coughs> this project is available for download uh, on my from my website which is http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads all right uh, here is the script guys these are some classes that uh, get generated when you write the code okay just in case that doesn't happen you should write it yourself right the first thing that I've done is uh, I have made the transparency of all the movie clips zero I basically rendered them invisible okay then I've declared a, a variable counter but I have not given it any value okay in line number 11 guys I've instantiated a timer I'll be using a timer obviously it's an automatic picture gallery and I've added it an event listener to the timer guys and I would want a function called timer listener to fire after every one single seconds second nine times this is the delay and this is the repeat count guys okay obviously you should start a timer just creating a timer is not enough so I've started a timer in line number 13 and let's see exactly what happens in the function timer listener uh, in line number 17 we check if the current count is equal to is equal to 1 so basically the first time the timer fires the current count is 1 okay uh, so which will happen after one single second so once that happens I'm checking if counter is equal to is equal to 1 guys remember in line number 9 I've declared uh, a variable called counter but I have not given it a value since I have not given it a value line number 19 will not be executed Okay, I'm sorry this should be one second all right uh, but line 20 will be because there is no if condition attached to it guys uh, I'm using uh, the tween class so I've created a variable or declared a variable called tween one of the type tween and I'm making sure that MC one that is the picture at the top is affected the alpha is affected I am making sure that the E is a strong dot E is out and I would want the alpha to change from a 0 to a 1 over 2 seconds 2 true means over 2 seconds right after 3 seconds guys that is when uh, the current count for the timer is 4 when that happens I would want the MC1 to fade out over 1 second but I would want the MC2 to fade in uh, over two seconds so basically mc1 alpha is the property that is getting affected mc1 is the picture in question or the movie clip in question 
the E is a strong dot E is out. It's fading out from 1 to 0. One to the alpha is going from 1 to 0, basically fading out over 1 second. So 1 true means over 1 second, right? That means stored in a different variable, tween 2. Guys, uh, this shouldn't be too difficult if you actually understand the tween class. Then what I've done is uh, I have at the same time, so this is the fade out routine, guys, and this is the fade in routine. Similarly, when three more seconds elapse, guys, that is when the timer dot current count is equal to seven. When that happens, I would want MC2 to fade out over one second, while I would want the MC3 to fade in over two seconds. Right. You can you can play around with the time to suit whatever you want, guys. Uh, this this works for me. All right. And guys, if you remember, the repeat count is nine. So when that happens, I would want the counter to have a value of one. If you remember, I just declared a variable counter. But I had not given it a value. Now I am I'm giving it a value when the timer actually exhausts itself and the current count becomes equal to 9. I'm resetting the timer and I'm start, uh, starting the timer again. So when I start the timer again, you know, the, the function timer listener will execute itself all over again. So that is how the looping is happening, guys. Okay. But this time line number 19 will be executed the moment that the current count becomes 1. The current count will obviously become one guys because I had reset the timer. So, but this time, since line number 19 ex is executed simply because the counter has been uh, rendered one, that is that has happened in line number 40. But the first time round it didn't happen. So, due to line number 19, uh, I'm actually fading out MC3 while I'm actually fading in MC1. So MC3 is getting, uh, you know, is, is being uh, rendered invisible over one second while MC, uh, MC3 is uh, rendered invisible over one second while MC1 is being rendered visible over two seconds. So guys, uh, the whole logic works like this. While uh, one picture fades out, the other one fades in. And that goes on and on and on. So this is the logic behind the uh, picture gallery that I've just created. So I'm going to show you a published uh, preview before I actually wind the tutorial guys. This, let me repeat it once again. This project is available for download from my website uh, qualitylessons.net forward slash downloads. Control enter to test the movie guys. First picture fading in. And now a fade in fade out happens simultaneously. A fade and fade out simultaneously fade and fade out simultaneously and it goes on and on and on and on all right guys I've used three pictures you could have used as many as you want you just need to make slight alteration to the code now that's a little bit of a logic that you need to use yourself how to make that alteration or the modification or you can ask me guys time and talent permitting I'll help you right so guys, I hope you like this tutorial and I'll see you very soon with yet another Flash or Action Script 3 tutorial or it could be Dreamweaver, HTML, CSS. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.